The Bucks coming into the arena, confident they'll be walking out of here with a precious win on the road. Welcome and thank you for spending this holiday season with and the Battle of the Bigs tonight, Graham. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Kobe Bryant is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's O'Neal in at the center position. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dinwiddie. And he drives in. And Bryant pulls it down. Here's Milwaukee. Here's Anadokounmpo. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And just look at the body control. Giannis doesn't allow the contact to throw him off. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Back to Dinwiddie. No good on the shot. Excellent D there from Bryant. Holiday passes to Middleton. Here's O'Neal. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a scorer, also a solid passer and distributor. Outside Johnson. Claxton down low. He's against O'Neal. Claxton can't get it to go. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Dinwiddie outside. And the three-pointer goes. And they get that first bucket. One for four to start this game. Here's Bryant. What a terrific move that is. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And Doris for Brooklyn, what do you think their biggest challenge will be retooling this roster? B.A., one of the problems they face, they don't own many of their own draft picks. So acquiring key pieces has to come through trades and free agency. And with that, you then have to have the salary cap implications to deal with. This is not easy. Now here's Bryant coming off a terrific game against New York. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Screen by Claxton. Elbow shot. Nice jump shot. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. It's stolen by Johnson. To the inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Bryant. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked. So he'll head to the line. So many times, Giannis forces his man into a foul. As a defender, you can't give him anything easy. That leads to a lot of contact. And so Honor de Kumpo nails both of them. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Pass to Dinwiddie. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First team. The first one falls. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Spencer Dinwiddie. At the line, two times. 
So he picks up just one from the line that time. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Bryant's got five points. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Throws it up high. Up high. And down it goes on the lob. And how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass. Set up the alley-oop flush. To the left wing. Here's Kumpo. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Give him eight points now. Yeah, one of the most efficient inside scores. Giannis just can't be stopped. Dinwiddie against Bryant. To the middle. Here's Claxton. Kumpo with the block. O'Neal passes to Bryant. No good with a layup. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Tries a 10-footer. And too long on the shot. And it's Holiday with the ball for Milwaukee. Leading by five. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive time end out, for sure. Out. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Timeout called. Brooklyn. will go for a different look here. Brooke Lopez is checked in for O'Neal. Portis comes in for Anadokounmpo. Beasley's checked in for Middleton. And it's Allen in for Drew Holiday. Allen against Dinwiddie. Nifty move. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Lopez needs to hold down the fort on defense. An incredible wingspan to get that one. Brooklyn trailing. Pass to Dinwiddie. to the paint. Here's Johnson. Got a hand on it. And he gets it back. Drops in the layup for two. Here's Bryant. Give him eight. Portis, left side. Fast break. Brooklyn. He goes up. Finished off the break. He's got six. All right. Defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Well, Doris, it's special when you get a kid like Cam Johnson who can seriously stretch the floor. Well, B.A., we know how highly valued deep shooting is. Cameron Johnson from the three-point line is legit dangerous. He's supremely confident. But what I love is he can also put it on the deck. He can also be elite defensively. The best is yet to come from an already talented player. And Milwaukee has possession. Following the bucket by the Nets. Outside Johnson. Claxton with it. Portis on it. The shot by Johnson. No good. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. For three, Allen can't get it to drop. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Dinwiddie outside. Fades. The rebound by the Bucks. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to fade away. Here's Portis. And rejected. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. Here's Bryant inside. And that's his fourth bucket in nine attempts. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Time, time called out, time here. Out. The Nets decide to talk it over now. 
Well, Grant, with that time of the year where trade rumors start to heat up and speculation on social media runs rampant. Oh, you're so right. I mean, we're not just talking players, too. A number of coaches are on the hot seat as well, so it can be a bit of a distraction for everyone. And, of course, the only cure is winning. Ana Kumpo has checked in for the Bucks. Ana Kumpo comes in for Beasley. Smith against Bryant. Smith passes to Finney Smith. Now Walker. Shot clock at five. Over Allen. Nice shot by Walker. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. Doesn't matter. Just make shots. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Inside, here's Watford. Honor to Kumpo with the block. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the great timing on the rejection. Lopez can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Nice shot by Walker. Walker's got his second basket on the night. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And here's Lopez. Back to Anadokounmpo. For three. And Lopez with the three. And the Bucks lead by three. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get his shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Now here's Smith. No points yet. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor. A lot of the damage coming in transition. And the Nets making a change here. He does not get the second one. The Bucks shooting 45% from the field in this first. And here's Bryant outside. Rebounded by the Nets. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. Bryant outside. Allen on the wing. There's the three. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. And that's good as he hits both shots. Allen against Walker. With four on the clock. Doesn't go for him. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Well, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Bucks on top, leading by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. joining us we played through one quarter in this one and for the Bucks guys what jumps out to you stat wise 
Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Holiday and Beasley manning the backcourt. Bobby Portis out there with Chris Middleton. And it's O'Neal in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Thomas, he got a piece of it. In transition, here come the Bucks. Here's O'Neal, and that one is hammered home. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt, on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points and moves on. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. It's stolen by Holiday. Portis outside. Middleton outside. Jacks up a three. Rebound Brooklyn. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. Don't try to put that one behind them. And games like that are backbreakers. To be so close to victory but let it slip away is frustrating. You know what? Sometimes you play a great game and lose. What you hope happens, though, is it toughens them up a bit mentally and they figure out how to close it out next time. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. When they're at full strength, the Bucks can hurt you inside and out. Drew Holiday said we have so many weapons, and that's what makes us dangerous. Anybody at any given time can knock down a big shot. We find ways to score efficiently. Brian? Yeah, and they've got that continuity factor as well. Playing is one. Thanks, Allie. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Doris, we live in the era of advanced analytics. Numbers about everything. You think there's a stat that deserves more love? You are so right about the analytics. They can tell us what the high-value shots are, what kinds of players you'd like to have on the offensive end. Here's the one thing teams struggle with, how to define quality defense. And the challenge is the floor is so spaced and the shooting is so good that perhaps we need to come up with different metrics to define good defense. That's one key area. Here's Portis. The Nets making their last shot. Three-pointer, Holiday. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Brooke Lopez is checked in for O'Neal. Anadokounmpo comes in for Portis. Giannis Anadokounmpo is checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Allen in for Beasley. Here's Thomas. Allen defending. Thomas passes to Watford. And the powerful one-handed slam. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Walker with a steal. Pass to Thomas. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Ana de Kumpo finds Ana de Kumpo. And it's Dorian Finney-Smith with the foul. That's his first foul. Some changes for Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for Watford. And it's Dinwiddie in for Thomas. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis is checked in. Yep, that one's good. Ana de Kumpo's got 12 points. Oh, man, the balance of muscle Giannis possesses is tremendous. Phenomenal at scoring on physical defenses. Now here's Dinwiddie, coming off a 22-point game against the Pistons in Detroit. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for Milwaukee. Pass to Portis. Here's Allen. And misses it off the right side of the rim. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Drew Holiday. 
Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And the Bucks with some changes. Chris Middleton's checked in for Ana de Kumpo, and it's Wall in for Holiday. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And he makes all three. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Pass to O'Neal. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. And Dinwiddie, here we go. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Dinwiddie's got five points in the quarter. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Brooklyn. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. The other thing, I cannot be more impressed by the defense they've shown tonight. Their willingness to close on shooters, blocking shots, playing with great effort. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. He picked up 27 points in their last win against the Knicks in New York. And another key for them was his rebounding. Just a great effort. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. And Brooklyn has possession. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Well, that's just a good possession. Dorian Finney-Smith moving the ball. He's been working on that aspect of his game. Here's Wall. Up and in on the layup. Wall's gotten his first basket of the night. What a burst out of that first step. Straight to the hole. Stolen by Wall. Pass to Middleton. For three, Allen. Brooklyn with the board. Claxton's got four rebounds now. And he dunks it down. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Oh, a beauty. Aggressive move by Middleton. Slamming it in to make a statement. The Nets have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Outside Walker. Screen by Claxton. Walker with it. He's against O'Neal. Walker's shot is off. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Bucks with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Connaughton comes in for Allen. And it's Bryant in for Wall. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Thomas, covered by Connaughton. From the right block, no good that time. Milwaukee has gone 1 of 4 from three-point land here in the second. And that one's good, Bryant. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Brooklyn trailing. Hook loose. O'Neal passes to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Pass to Dinwiddie. Shot clock at six, and out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. You look at the Warriors, they've risen to third in the latest power rankings, playing well as of late. When I look at the Bucks, they've really lived up to the hype surrounding them this year, proving they're at the absolute top of their game. Wall, he's checked in for the Bucks. And Bryant, here we go. He hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. They need this. Rebound, Milwaukee. O'Neal's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Middleton, no good. And so Denwitty will bring it up for the Nets. Trailing by 10. The kick out to Johnson. 
Pass to Claxton. Down low. Here's Denwitty. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Now here's Middleton. He's got five. Here's O'Neal. Unloads from 13. Again, Milwaukee. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. A minute 37 left in the first half. Claxton passes to Dinwiddie. Johnson against Middleton. From the top of the key, a shot by Johnson, no good. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 20-6 run. Here's O'Neal. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And the first one at the line is good. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for the Bucks. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Pass to Dinwiddie. Screen by Claxton. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Lopez. 51 seconds left to play in the first half. Blocked! Now here's Johnson. Guarded closely. Bryant against Dinwiddie. They swipe it. Middleton outside. Fires the three. He buries it from three. Middleton's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Dinwiddie against Bryant. Outside Johnson. Pass to Thomas. The Nets need to get off a shot here. For three, Dinwiddie. Not going to go that time. Bryant, right side. And so it's Milwaukee up 15 points as this quarter concludes. Boy, they've been playing at a fast pace, beating the defense in transition and adding to that big lead. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey folks, first off, looking ahead to All-Star Weekend, let's see who's in the running to compete in the three-point contest. Yeah, this group, Elite Marksmen, or as they sometimes called, Lasers. Uh, we get it, I think. Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Bucks. The roster was constructed with speed in mind. We're seeing that speed, especially in transition tonight. I mean, they've straight up got them on the run. No, I'm kidding. I'm trying to remember the last time I ran like a full sprint. Uh, it was like lunchtime when we were in line trying to get lunch. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Mm -hmm. 
Brooklyn shooting just 42% so far in the game. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Claxton. Yes! And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. And for Milwaukee, we've got Drew Holiday. Chris Middleton is out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's Kobe Bryant, and it's O'Neal in at the five. Now here's Johnson. Fires from deep. Drops in the three. Johnson's got five. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And here's Bryant outside. The offensive rebound. Three-pointer. And the Bucks miss again. Boy, that makes them 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Pass to Johnson from the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Wow, what a start to this half. 3 for 3, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Bryant, the pass to Portis. He takes it in. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Brooklyn has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. Portis with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Off target at the rim. Brooklyn's gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Dinwiddie. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Johnson on the wing. Middleton covering. Five on the clock. Milwaukee with the rebound. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Portis, the pass to O'Neal. Out of bounds, it'll be the Nets ball. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Chris Middleton. And his three-point shot has been off lately. He's had a hard time getting it dialed in this month compared to earlier on in the season. He just needs to ease up and let those shots come to him instead of trying to force it. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got 11. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Boy, plenty of time left in the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Portis. Right wing. Pass to Dinwiddie. From deep, Johnson. And again, it's the Nets missing. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday from long range hits the trifecta. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. The ball's knocked loose and stolen by Holiday. Honor to Kumpo outside. Dallas throws it down. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. All right, let's get a report time from out. Allie. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He Start. said, quote, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. You've got to guard these matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and I think we get taken for granted. B.A., he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Allie. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for O'Neal. Bochamp comes in for Middleton. Beasley's checked in for Bryant. And it's Allen in for Drew Holiday. Milwaukee on D. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Dinwiddie. Outside Johnson. Screen by Claxton. To the paint. Clock at six. Lopez with the steal. Here's the break. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Brooklyn with the board. It's off to Washington after this one, where they will face the Wizards. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. Here's Claxton. 
to the inside. Here's Johnson. And no good trying to use the glass. Milwaukee has gone one of four here in the third from range. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. Fires the three. Lopez can't hit. The Nets have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Outside Johnson. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. He's got 11. Driving to the basket. He's a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. The Bucks have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Here's Bochamp. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Oh, there's the alley. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Allen outside. From outside, off the mark. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Here's Denwitty. Out of the Kumpo with the block. Allen outside. Pass to Lopez. Beasley outside. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Here's Bochamp. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Driving inside. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Finney Smith checked in for Brooklyn. Bryant, no good. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. And the call will be against Bobby Portis. That's his first foul. Now here's Claxton. Defense right on him. Kenny Smith. And that one's drained from the low block. And now just a four-point Milwaukee lead. That's what you call using your body. Playing a little bully basketball is Dorian Finney-Smith. Bryant against Dinwiddie. From downtown. Finney-Smith's shot is off. Milwaukee shooting the rock well at 46%. Here's O'Neal. Basket counts. O'Neal's got 11 points. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. For three, Dinwiddie. On target from range. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. The Bucks shooting a low 29% since halftime. Kicks it out to Bryant. to Ana Kumpo. Six on the shot clock. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Dinwiddie against Middleton. For the tie. Ana Kumpo grabs the board. Now Bryant. He's got 17. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Stolen by Middleton. Bryant finds Ana de Kumpo. And Giannis with the dunk. And you can see early on that Giannis wanted to be aggressive. I mean, he's taken over at the offensive end. They set a pick. And here's Denwitty from the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. 11 feet out. And it's on an Akumpo with a miss. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. And on an Akumpo over to help. And he lobs it up to the rim. And 
and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. But this is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regrouped. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. Walker, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons comes in for Dinwiddie. Beasley's checked in for Milwaukee. Milwaukee in the lead. Portis down low. Deflected! Inside. The kick out to Walker. Back to Claxton for the tie. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. Here's Bryant. 17 points in the game. Middleton finds Beasley. Back to Middleton. Puts up a deep three. Rebounded by the Nets. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Pass to Walker. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. It's deflected. It's Beasley on the wing. He's marked by Finney Smith. That's staying connected to the shooter and timing the contest. To the middle. Cool, powered down with both hands. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. The Bucks trail. Pass to Bryant. Here's O'Neal. Beasley outside. Portis for three. To halt the run. That one a little long. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. Walker against Bryant. Walker passes to Claxton. Fades away. And no good. We're at the end of the third quarter and we've still got a close one. It's the Nets. They lead by two. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Lonnie Walker. Then it's Cam Thomas. Then it's Trendon Watford. So that's the Nets five. The Nets with the lead. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Anadokounmpo is doubled. It's Beasley on the wing. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. I wouldn't necessarily call Beasley a specialist, but we know he loves to take and make threes. Pass to Thomas from behind the arc. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Connaughton with the ball. Back to Antetokounmpo. Five to shoot. Stripped it away. Fast break, Brooklyn. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. First free throw is good. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
the Bucks shooting only 42%. And here's Connaughton for three. The rebound by the Nets. Let's it go from 11. Anadokounmpo with the block. And the Bucks pushing it up now to tie it up. Connaughton can't hit. Boy, this lead is razor thin. Yeah, B.A., and there's a chance to extend that right here. Here's Thomas. Yep, right through the net. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Anadokounmpo. On the wing, Connaughton. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got three assists in the game. The Nets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. And the Nets making a change here. Denwitty's checked in. O'Neal, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Connaughton. The baseline, Jay. The rebound by the Bucks. Bryant's got five rebounds in the game. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Then Woody with it. Outside, Finney Smith. Just five to shoot. The three ball. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Middleton outside. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Middleton. To take the lead. They get the rebound. Out to Beasley. The three. The shot off that time. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie against Bryant. Nice move. Oh, and Bryant with the block. Anadokounmpo outside. Oh, Giannis working inside. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bucs. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, and the dunk by Anadokounmpo. For a guy his size, Giannis handles the rock very well, which makes him a nightmare for defenses. Dinwiddie against Bryant. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's closely guarded. Pass to Finney Smith. From deep, rejected by Anadokounmpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Six to shoot. Here's Dinwiddie. Beyond the arc. O'Neal pulls it in. Beasley pass to Anadokounmpo. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And let's see what the Brooklyn Nets have coming up. On Friday, they kick off a road trip in Washington, where they'll take on the Wizards. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Victor Oladipo and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And that game against Houston, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they're able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Allen comes in for Bryant. You know, he didn't get them all, but they'll be able to breathe just a bit easier with the two-possession lead. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Claxton. Good work defensively.
defensively by Lopez. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 13-5 run. They get it back. Here's O'Neal. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here's Dinwiddie. Lays it up and banks it in. He's only one for four here in the fourth, but maybe that bucket will ignite his offense. And so Ana Kumpo will bring it up for the Bucks. Pass to Allen. Kumpo is doubled. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Rebound Brooklyn. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Don called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. He's checked in for Brooklyn. And the Bucks making a change here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard from Adrian Griffin as he talked with the team. Confidence is what he's asking for right now. He said, quote, when it's close, we have to keep believing in ourselves. And if we don't think we can pull it out, we've already lost. So some strong words from coach in the huddle. Back to you, Brian. Okay, thank you, Ali. For three, Allen. Claxton with a rebound. Brooklyn trailing. to Dinwiddie to the wing on the left to take the lead oh he got hacked on the three-pointer and he'll head to the line it's going to be on Bobby Portis Ooh, good defensive intensity but you have to stay in control always makes it and the next one could tie it up oh boy rough trip to the line he could have tied it or even put them up. Instead, he makes just one of three. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. And he makes a first. And so he makes both from the line. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4 to the inside. Milwaukee with the rebound. O'Neal's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And the Nets shooting just 42% so far in the game. Dinwiddie outside. Just five on the clock. From the high post. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got rebound number seven tonight. There's the triple. And it's Bochamp missing. Back to Dinwiddie. Pass to Claxton. It's stolen by Holiday. For three, Allen doesn't go that time. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Holiday's over to help. And he's going for the lob. Can't ask for a better look when they needed it most. Using his height advantage inside. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday taking his time here. That three's off the mark. Well, Brooklyn's shooting 27% here in the fourth. This one for three. He drops it from range. 
And he's now got the double-double. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Timeout call. Milwaukee. They're ahead by one. 149 left in the fourth quarter here. And the Bucs with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for O'Neal. Chris Middleton comes in for Bochamp. And Aradacumpo is subbed in for Allen. That'll be a five-second call. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. And the Bucs making a change here. Bryant's checked in. Dinwiddie against Aradacumpo. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. He drops the first one, and that ties this game up. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Antetokounmpo. Oh, the streak of Giannis. <laughs> and he is just showing off right now. I mean, he's giving you leadership. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. Dinwiddie outside. Off the mark there with a three. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Honor to Kumpo. Pass to Portis. Here's Bryant. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for Brooklyn. Fires at the elbow. That one rolls around and rims out. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Middleton. And it's all from three-point range. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. Pass to Bryant. Ah! Rebounded by the Nets. Dinwiddie with it. Middleton covering. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. But those were essential. Very steady work at the free throw line in a very tight game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They trail by one. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. A lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the backboards. So the first one drops, and that'll put him up two. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a three-point game. Well, those are essential free throws to make a three-point lead. It's going to take something from long range now to tie this game. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. So he gets them both. And it's a five-point game. All but over now. Those free throws help seal the deal. Kicks it out to Bryant. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point game. There's six seconds left in the final quarter. And it's good! Well, that leadership from Lopez wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. So we see the Nets get the win here. 
I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now New Balance presents the player of the game.